Welcome to Be Here. I'm your host Chris Marks and welcome to the beautiful Cloudland Canyon State Park. Cloudland Canyon State Park is located in the northeast corner of Georgia, between Rising Fawn and Trenton. Established in 1938, this state park has over 3,500 acres to explore. And here we are. And one thing's for sure, before you start hiking around here, you gotta check out the visitor center, get some information, get a map, and obviously pay for your day here. Let's check it out. If you forget to pack the necessities, don't worry. The visitor center has got a wide variety of items that you may need. Now that we got our stuff, let's drive up to the main lookout area. This view is what put Cloudland Canyon on my Georgia bucket list for quite some time. The best part about these views is that it's right next to a parking lot and no hiking is required to enjoy it. So just about anyone can come and check it out. So yeah, unfortunately the views at Cloudland Canyon are kind of disappointing. They're not really all that good. But then again, I could be wrong. Oh, so very wrong indeed. And there are a number of different viewing points to admire this gorgeous sight, so be sure to take your time. Now that we've seen the view from the top, let's go inside the canyon. Now as you can clearly see, it's in the fall. We're actually in late October. We're also on somebody's birthday. It's this girl's birthday, hey. and uh, it's a little bit cold, and today, She's showing the winter section of our modeling, wearing four awesome layers because she gets so cold so easily. Whereas me, on the other hand, I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt. Hey, whatever makes you comfortable. Next time I'm bringing a Snuggie. Oh, Snuggie on a hike, go figure. The deeper you go into the canyon, the more beautiful things get. You just gotta get through the stairs first. And when I say beautiful, I mean beautiful and unique. It's not too often that I've seen rock walls like this. It makes the hike down a very interesting one. Now to me, this rock looks like a big butt from the side. I'm sorry guys. I don't know how much longer I can hold this. Okay then, let's move on to the waterfall, shall we? And there are two waterfalls to choose from in this canyon. I've been told that when you go down to the waterfalls, there's roughly about 600 stairs to go up and down. So if you've got any knee problems or any issues with your legs, it might not be for you. But for those that are able to do it, definitely do it. The waterfalls are awesome. Once we got down to the bottom, we found a stream leading away from the falls. It was very interesting to see the different colored leaves along the way. And here we are, our first glimpse of Cherokee Falls. Usually the falls is flowing much more strongly, but it is still lovely nonetheless. And on our way back, it was hard not to feel small compared to these high cliffs. These very, very, very high cliffs. Well, 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 if it isn't our old rival, stairs. Yes, indeed. You gotta go through more stairs to get to the other falls. One thing that's really neat, the trail along this side to the other waterfall, we got this nice little trail. It's very, very smooth, except for that rock I just tripped over. We got all these humongous cliff-like formations because technically we're inside the canyon right now, but it's so cool. Without a doubt, there is no shortage of unique things to look at during these hikes. Beautiful chaos. Yeah, that is, that is nature. It's crazy. As per usual, my wife has to face one of her fears. Once again, she's having to face her fear of heights because you can see right through the grates what's below you. My legs are shaky. Yeah, I don't need to see that. Why can't they just make him flat? Just make him... I don't know. Once again, we have another beautiful look at nature on our way to the next waterfall. And here we are. Let's get a closer look, shall we? Yet again, it wasn't flowing as strong as it usually does, but here's a good look at Hemlock Falls. Now that is definitely a pretty waterfall, but this right here, that is a really big rock. Dwayne Johnson, I think you got some competition, man. And when you turn around, you realize that the view around the waterfall is even more beautiful. Mother Nature is an amazing thing. And yes, 
In order to see more, we have to go back up all these stairs. Lots and lots of stairs. Man, all those stairs made us hungry. Let's go get something to eat. And if you're looking for a great place to get a good quality meal in this area, definitely come over and check out Cafe 136. We're about to get something to eat. Let's go check it out. This place is like a little slice of home. And they definitely embody Southern hospitality here. I think that's the birthday girl. Hey. And if you want to reserve a big party room, they got you covered. So, birthday girl, what did you get for lunch? I got deviled eggs and coleslaw. They also gave us these uh, biscuit-like muffins here. They look pretty good. And me, I just got your basic cheeseburger and french fries. Well, birthday girl here decided to splurge a little bit, <laughs> no, and we got I did this. Not. This monstrosity over here. What is this baby? This is amaretto pie. Amaretto <laughs> pie. So we're gonna enjoy ourselves over here at Cafe 136, and more importantly, we're gonna be here. After we got our food, we had to check out all the lodges and cabins at this state park. Not to mention all the places to park your RV or camper. They definitely have some good accommodations here. But this really caught my eye for a good place to get some quality sleep. Forget all those campsites and all the trailers and all the cabins. I'm just gonna stay here tonight. Like a caveman. Time to check out the West Rim Trail. Believe me, this trail is something special. Now you can either stick to your map or just keep following all these yellow diamonds. And those yellow diamonds will lead you from one beautiful view to another beautiful view. And the amazing views just keep coming. I absolutely love all these different colors. This is just magnificent. The beauty that is the fall. And this angle shows just the kind of beauty that I'm talking about. And then this view went and took it to a whole nother level. Wow. And I just came across another viewing point that comes out to this spectacular view over here. Let's get a closer look. Closer look? Granted. This one is pretty special. And in case you're wondering, most of the lookout areas have a very nice sturdy barrier to keep you from falling off the cliffs. But you still wanna be careful nonetheless, because as great as this view is, you do not wanna fall down there. But you do wanna fall in love with this place, that's for sure. And that right there, is the other side of the main viewing point. We're literally looking at the main viewing point at the moment. And it is just as spectacular of a view on this side. It is definitely cool to see the view from the opposite side from where we started our day on this fantastic trip. Without a doubt, Cloudland Canyon State Park is an amazing place to visit in Georgia. It should be on everyone's bucket list. And whenever you swing by to visit this wonderful place, always remember to be here.